we need. Now, here, ladies and gentlemen, we have a polynomial function, f of x equals a n of x to the n plus a n minus 1 x to the n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x n minus 2. And you look at it and you're like, what the heck is that? Why would he write him something like that? It just looks crazy, right? And I understand it really is something crazy. But there's a couple things I want you guys to understand, the reason why I gave you guys a general form. The first thing I want you guys to understand is, do you guys agree that if n was a number, that this number would be the highest? Because if you had, let's say n was 8, well, the next one would be 8 minus 1. The next one would be 8 minus 2. So do you guys agree with me that n right there, that is the largest power, right? So what I want you to understand is this is our formal way of writing a polynomial with the largest power first. So that n is also what we call our degree, which we kind of talked about, which n behavior, wherever that was. We talked about n behavior as your degree. Then a sub n just represents, again, a coefficient of that exponent is what we call the leading coefficient, or I will more often than not just call that your LC. All right. Um, so the main important thing when determining if we have a polynomial or not is the powers of a polynomial must be non-negative, which is a fancy way of saying positive, and they have to be integers. Please remember integers are going to be your like whole numbers, but they're going to be negative, and they can be positive. I'm sorry, integers are sorry only going to be are positive. OK, so um, here we have, we have f of x equals x to the fourth um, minus uh, square root of 2, x squared plus 3. So if you're going to determine if this is a polynomial or not, all you simply need to do is go by inspection and look at your powers. Are your pos powers non-negative integers? Yes. yes. This looks a little confusing, and I'm kind of here to trick you because I gave you a square root as a coefficient, but that's not a power, so it's OK. So yes, this is a polynomial. Then what I'd like you to do is determine what is the degree and oh, I, didn't, I messed this one up. What is the degree and the leading coefficient? Well, you can see that 4 is the largest power, and um, 4, and then there's 2. So 4 is my degree. And the leading coefficient is going to be the number in front of my exponent, x to the fourth, which in this case is 1. Does everybody see that? OK. This one, we have fractions as our powers. So this is not an example of a polynomial. Please also note, you, if you see any radicals, radicals, if you guys remember from rational exponents, radicals is the same thing as a rational power. So if you see any radicals, that's going to show it's not a polynomial as well. Yes, Anastasia. Correct. Or if your variable is a radical of any sort, because that's the same thing as a fraction. Because this would be x to the 2 thirds is the same thing as the cube root of x squared. If you guys remember your rational exponents. Is the x under the square root? In this one? No, it's not. That's why I said that one's a polynomial. But I kind of threw there to trick you. So that one's not a polynomial. The next one, you can't have any negative powers. Because basically, you can't have any non-negative integers as your powers, or you can't have variables in the denominator. Because what is x to the negative first? What is that really? That's the same thing as 1 over x. You can't have x in the denominator. So rational functions, where you had a polynomial up top and a polynomial down below, is not actually a polynomial of itself. It's a function. But you can't have polynomials in the numerator and the denominator. So this one is not a polynomial. And the last one, here's a fraction, but is there any denominator in there? Is there any variable in the denominator? No. no. So actually, this is, remember that 5 divides into all of those terms. So that's really 7 fifths x squared plus x plus 1 fifth, because the 5 is divided to 1. So now we again look at the highest power, which in this case is 2. So my degree is 2, and my leading coefficient is 7 fifths. A lot of students will write the leading coefficient as 7. That's why I had to give you guys that example. So just be careful. Yes? Is 